a very good morning dear students now let us start our social science class let us start a new chapter chapter 23 prejudice discrimination and inequality this is from part of civics chapter 23 prejudice discrimination and inequality geography influences and our habits and at time we meet the people those who are different from us some people they are making the fun of them because they are different from them and they are making some uh, fun those who are different and they this is it is forming the negative attitude and the emotion against the such people because they are making the negative attitude and they feel safe with only those who are talk and dress and think like them and these people they are thinking those who are talking to them and those who are dressing like them and those who are thinking like them only with that people they are making the uh, or they are uh, making more connection with them and those who are uh, different from them they are making fun of them and we can see the prejudice and the discrimination are deeply fixed at both the individual and the society level this both it is mixing in the individual and the society level and in other it is the completely get rid of the prejudice and discrimination what we have to do we have we must deal with the prevailing beliefs or the ideologies and the social structure then we can uh, we can get rid get rid of from the prejudice and the discrimination and we can see what is the prejudice the prejudice is prejudging an individual activity or situation without having actually having first hand knowledge about them we can see what is the prejudice the prejudice means it is prejudging an individual or activity or the situation without having any knowledge about them we are not having any knowledge about that person or the activity or the things or the situation and we are judging that that is called the prejudice and we can see it is bias against or in a favor of a person caste etc or it it may be about the person or about the caste or anything and it is a negative emotion which is not good either for a society or for an individual and the prejudice it is a negative emotion it is not good for the individual or the in the society level and we can see the prejudice come from the good or the bad past experiences regarding the object of the prejudice and the ex uh, prejudice from where it is coming it may come from the good or the bad experience the past experiences what we had from there the prejudice also it is coming and our constitution it is for forbids it and our ethics and morals to do not sanction it and we can see our uh, the prejudice means it is a prejudging an individual activity or the situation without having any first hand knowledge about them that is called the prejudice and we can see the next it is a stereotypes a stereotype is a fixed general imo image of a person or thing the stereotypes means it is a fixed thing for about the the fixed image of a person or the things for example we can see when it is said that the people of a particular race are criminal if you are saying that the people of a particular race are criminal it is not right because the everyone belonging to that race, race is not the criminal and we can see besides the criminal can exist in all the races we can see maybe in all the races there there we can find the criminals but it is not the not right to say that the we are fixing one image or we are saying that the race in the one race it is having all the people they are the criminals so the stereotypes prevent us from looking at each person as as having unique qualities and the stereotypes it is preventing us from looking each person have the unique qualities and all and instead they place a large number of people under one category and we can see many of us have prejudice about the members of the groups different from ours we should however recognize that we are not being fair if we treat if we treat the people different because these stereotypes and the prejudice each one of us have differences to be considered and unique human beings and we cannot avoid the people or those who are different from us and we have to make all the people or the we have to consider all as a unique human beings 
and we can see all of us it is face peer pressure when it is comforted with a job which makes fun of a certain minority it takes the courage to raise objections to these jokes and to actively fight the prejudice and they create it is important to stand up against injustice and fight discrimination and stereotypes and here it is saying we have to stand up against the inj injustice those who are showing the injustice and all we have to stand up against the injustice and the, we have to fight the discrimination and the stereotypes and we can see the next one what is the discrimination and acting on the basis of prejudice leads to discrimination the prejudice it is leading to discrimination already we told that the prejudice it is a prejudging others without having any uh, first hand knowledge about them and it is a negative one and this prejudice it is leading to uh, discrimination and it is negative emotion and it should be avoided as it leads to disharmony and we have to avoid this negative emotion the, already we told that the prejudice it is leading to discrimination and that is a negative emotion and we have to avoid this negative emotion otherwise it may leads to disharmony and again we can see the discrimination may be against an indivi individual a particular community caste class race or the religion the constitution of india it is forbids the Uh, the for forbids the discrimination by the government on the basis of caste religion sex place of birth race etc and we can say everyone is equal in the eyes of the law if we are we can say if you are having many differences or we are not accepting the different people those who are uh, more than different from us and we are not having or we are not accepting them but in the cons the laws and all it is equal all are equal in the under the law but the constitution allows the positive discrimination and in favor of the scheduled caste the scheduled tribes and other backward classes and the women and the children and all, all people the minorities and the disabled are given the special protection by the indian constitution and we told that if we are having many differences or the we are not considering other people at all but under the law all are equal and the constitution it is giving many things the positive the constitution allows the positive discrimination and all and the for, in a special way for the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes and the other backward classes and all it is giving more important and the women and the children and the old people minorities and the disabled that this all it is giving the special protection by the indian constitution and in today we have seen what is the prejudice stereotypes and the discrimination once again we can see the pre the prejudice means without having any knowledge about a person or the situation or the individual activity and all we are not having any knowledge about that and we are judging or prejudging that that is called the prejudice and when we are looking at the stereotypes the stereotypes it is a fixed general Uh, image of a person or the things that is the uh, stereotypes and when we are looking the discrimination the prejudice it is leading to discrimination and the discrimination it is a negative emotion the dis the discrimination it is the negative so we have to avoid this prejudice and the discrimination and all next we can see prejudice and discrimination as social evil we can say that our social structure is very much affected by the practices of the prejudice and the discrimination we can see how it is affecting first point we can see the prejudice and the discrimination it is leading to ethnic hostilities which constitute a major danger to peace both within the nation and among the nation and the prejudice and the discrimination it is making to the ethnic hostilities or the ethnic conflicts and all it is making in within the nation and among the nation and the second point we can see the prejudice and the discrimination lead to disunity which results in weakening society through strife and war and the prejudice and discrimination it is making disunity the and the world peace will elude our grasp while the prejudice and discrimination continue to disturb the collective life of the humanity and the prejudice and discrimination it is making or it is disturbing the uh, humanity 
and next point we can see the prejudice and the discrimination lead to racial arrogance or the feelings of the superiority and among the whites and the against the blacks are seen in many countries we can see before and all the whites are in high level and the blacks are in the lower level we can see this was continuing in many countries and they created deep words among different groups in the world for a long time the practices of the apartheid or the racial dis discrimination was prevalent in the south africa for a period of long time we can see in south africa there was the practices of the apartheid or the racial discrimination it was in south africa and the fourth point we can see the prejudice and the discrimination it is produce harmful effects in the political domain as well the prejudice and discrimination it is making the uh, it is producing the harmful effect and the stress and strain continue between both the dominant and subjected groups as a result of the which progress of both the groups become the retarded then we can see here the prejudice and the discrimination it is making the harmful effects and the fifth point the prejudice and discrimination lead to a deep rooted mistrust and the suspicion and bitterness in the society and the prejudice and discrimination it is making the deep rooted mistrust or the suspicion and the bitterness in the society so these are the things what the prejudice and discrimination it is making in our society